Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlooking and and in today's video I'm going to show you how to link nether portals. Bam! Alright, so I actually have a video on this already though, it's been requested a lot recently and I figured that it could use a, a revised version. Um, so I'm in an all iron world pretty much so that it's... I hate flying over grass, that's the real reason. But yeah, so this is all numbers based and the main bullet point of this presentation is dividing by three. If you don't know how to divide, grab a calculator. So in the nether distance is one third of that in the overworld. What does that mean? That means that if I travel 30 blocks in the overworld is equivalent to 10 blocks in the nether. And same thing if I travel 10 blocks in the nether it's like I travel 30 blocks in the overworld. So we're going to use that to link nether portals and make traveling a lot easier. Alright so we have portal A and it's by my bed so this is my house portal. Okay. Now the coordinates that I'm using are very simple so that it makes sense to you guys. The corner of this is at X30 and Z30. Well, and the Y doesn't really matter. Uh, though when you have world generation, it's going to try its best to put you in those coordinates. But, you know, again, we're trying to keep things simple. But it's all dividing by 3. So again, X30, Z30. Now let's say in this direction... I have a skeleton spawner or, or something amazing and I put this portal 300 blocks away so we were at X30 this portal is at X330 so 300 blocks away okay now that's a problem I don't want to walk 300 blocks every time I want to get some skeleton bones um, so that's where linking portals comes into play so then let me show you I'm going to pop into portal A. And we're going to pop out in this another uh, portal right here. Okay. Don't worry about that one. So we pop out, out of this one every single time. If you notice, the coordinates are one third. X10, Z10. Where were we at before? X30, Z30. So over here in this direction at X 110 100 blocks away from that one is this portal so what is 100 100 is one third of 300 we were trying to travel 300 blocks and we just did so we're at the 330 portal so by traveling 100 blocks in the nether, we were able to travel 300 in the overworld, just popping in a new portal. That's it. Alright, so now this is the tutorial part of things. That's kind of the example part of things. Now what's going to happen here, and this is going to be kind of a good thing, I'm going to build a new set of portals in that direction. Now if you know about portals, um, if they're close to each other, normally you'll teleport to the closest one to it but you can counteract that with using very precise divided by three um, you know with math math math's gonna win the day so we're gonna do this we're gonna do this in the opposite direction so this one is at 30 x 30 so we're gonna go x negative 30 all right there we go so x negative 30 all right There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so at this point, we don't want to go through this one as of yet. Actually, no, we will go through this one. It's going to pop us out at that one. And we'll in the nether. See? Like I said, pop us out of this one. Alright, so, again, that's where the 300 one is. In this direction is where it should have popped us out. It should have popped us one third of the negative x30. So it should have popped us out right here. Alright, now this is where we should have been. x negative 10 z10. So negative 30 divided by 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to light this portal. We're not going to go through this portal. We're going to just leave it be. What we're doing is we're setting a destination. So now we're going to go back to the overworld. And now we're going to go to 
the portal we had built. Now, what happens? When I pop in through this portal, last time it threw me in the nether's portal that belonged to that one. But now we've given it a destination that is super close to one-third the coordinates. I mean, they're exact. So now when the game is like, hey, let me calculate it by one-third, <clears throat> it has a precise destination now. See? Now we're here. So that is how you link nether portals. Um, so again, from there on, it's just direction based. So let's say we want to duplicate what we did over there with uh, 300 blocks or so away. So then let's do that. All right, so we're going to go the opposite direction and to the X coordinate all the way to X 330. Go faster. And we're here. Alright, so there we go. We're going to just pop one in real quick. Alright. Don't go through it. Do not go through it. Just have it lit. Now you're going to have to make the track. You're going to pop in your portal. Okay. So now we're going to go in that direction. So again, we were trying to travel 300 blocks in the overworld. So in this case, we have to travel only 100 blocks. So we're going to go negative 110, which is, again, 330 divided by 3. Build this portal. All right. Now don't go into this one. Again, all we did here was set up a destination. That's it. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go the 300 blocks this way. Now, if this was a two-man operation, probably be a lot simpler, but it can be done with, you know, one person as you can tell. So I'm going to pop into the 300 and the negative side of things portal. And I'm going to pop out in the negative 110 portal that we had already assigned. And that's it, guys. That is extremely simple on how to link nether portals. And if you're precise with your divided by three thing, you're able to put portals extremely close to each other. So again, we see saw multiple times that this one sent us to the bed. Okay, the portal by the bed. There's, there's a portal right here, so a lot of people would be like, oh, they're too close, they're going to put you to the same portal. No, because this portal here, opposite of that one, where the bed would be, is exactly one-third. So that means that when the game does its math, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't care. It doesn't care. The, the fact is that there is one that is one-third of its actual coordinates, so it's going to go with that one. It doesn't care that this one was here first. So all I did was the same thing, built the portal here, lit it, built it in the nether, lit it, didn't go through it, came back out, entered that one, and came in through there. And I mean, to show you guys even further, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a portal here. Let's make it I mean, in, be in between these. So, all right. So I'm going to build this portal here. I'm going to light it. I'm not going to go through it. I'm going to go through just my bed one. So that was halfway through that one. This one should be at 15 because I believe it was 45. Yep. All right. Now it's lit. Again, we don't go through it. We just set our destination. Let's go back to the portal. Um, that has the bed. It's already linked. Now let's go through the middle one. And even though there's two portals extremely close to it, it still put me in the middle one. So yes. Yes. That is how you do things, guys. That's how you link portals. Uh, probably on the next tutorial, I'll show you how to kind of maybe access a secret base through another portals. But yeah, so I hope you liked the video. As always, subscribe up top and peace out.